What is up YouTube? That's here today. I'm showing you guys one of my absolute favorite Pokemon. It's the little mascot of this channel and that is Victini. I've been a huge fan of like pretty much every Victini deck going back all the way to like Gen 3. I've been playing TCG that long and you know what? It's about time I make a Victini VMAX deck for TCGO. I really like this card. I still think it's really good. I do think there are decks that outpace it. Things like, you know, Arceus Duraludon and a couple of the other like tier one decks, they will outscale this card and put you on the back foot for most of the game. But if your opponent's playing literally anything else, so if like tier two or below, you will be able to just get a two energy attacker that comes in and hits for about uh, 220 every single turn. And that's super, super good. We're also learning it up with a deck that uses things like Kabu. So you can draw eight cards per turn. That's super nice. We're even using Calera. I think this is a one of in this deck is actually really, really nice. Um, being able to replenish that Victini and energy requirement um, that you need to actually use your attacks back in your deck. Really, really nice. I also think having a one of of Heroes Metal is amazing in this deck. So if you guys are a fan of Victini and you want a super easy cookie cutter Victini VMAX deck, try Try this list out it has hammers it has fan of waves it has big poke gears pokemon catcher tons of cool stuff to make the game interesting and fun and uh I, i'm really excited to play it because i really do really do like fire decks i like victini and i think this is going to be you know an overall good time i'm also going to give a, a small reminder that i'm going to be at salt lake city regionals so if you guys are going to be at salt lake city regionals think about letting me know i'd love to meet any and everyone that is going to be at that event i plan on playing vgc in the main event but i'm going to plan some tcg side events as well so uh, I said this in the last video, if you have cards that you think are super good that you think I should pick up from the vendors, think about letting me know because I probably plan on buying like a good amount of actual like uh, like product from the vendors. So help me out here, leave a comment, and uh, other than that, we're going to hop right into the video and uh, see if we can make a Victini VMAX work well past its prime. Here we go. Survey says, what do we got? winning that coin flip you know what i'm saying no, i'm saying hello i'm on a four game win streak do i want to go first with this deck definitely definitely going first survey says we got nothing we're gonna mull so many freaking times with this deck we have four basics so that's one cool thing about tcgo is you get the uh the big mole mulligan one is it just one mulligan wow lucky me that's a cool hand too um they're running some sort of lucario barrel deck once during your turn, you have a GM on the Pokemon, you should strike for fighting energy. Okay, no, no, not a bad, not not bad. Cool, that works for me. I think we got this, yo. We got the big big teen Ds. We even got the uh, hero medal, our one tool card in the deck. Very cool. All we need to do is go for like a Marnie or something after attaching a heat energy and uh, we'll be fine. So heat energy, I don't think we want to actually even use these quick balls. We don't even need to use the Poke Gear. Freaking Badoop just starting things off. Heat energy's up. No reason to Heroes Metal yet. We want to save that till the very end. And there's no reason to use these Quick Balls to get more Victinis because, because we are running four Kabus. So next turn, we'll probably go for the Poke Gear, search for a Kabu, uh, and we might Marnie them next turn if they get like a big hand, but we want to use our, uh, what is it, Crushing Hammer first. So we just end it up. We should be in a pretty good spot. I think Victini's actually still a really, really good deck. It's a pretty fast deck, and it's a good deck at beating a lot of the rogue decks in the format. Obviously, things like Arceus, Daryl Udon are still going to be super, super good versus it, but I do think the Victini has the potential to be a very, very solid deck. What do they discard? That's a cool looking quick ball art. I like that a lot, and they discard Ultra Ball. Okay, so yeah, we got a second Heat Energy. Yo, big HP investment here. Um, let's see, do we want to get the... We don't want to Marnie them. So we definitely just want a Poke Gear for like a Kabu. And they also went for, yeah, there's a Kabu right there. Ooh, we can just get the boss's order. Like that's only 60 and we have enough to just kill it, but we'd have to, uh, I don't like that. I should probably probably put some of these with Ultra Balls. You know, I'll get the Kabu. I'll get the Kabu. I mean, I'd like to get rid of that guy, but I think Kabuing for like an evolution incense is probably the better play. So we'll go for a Crushing Hammer first. Never lucky. And we'll just drop the Kabu. We don't need to drop this, uh, we don't need to drop that, uh, Hero's Medallion until we have to. There's the Evolution Sense. Oh, there's just a the big, big team. We do be taking those. Cool beans. Awesome. We can still poke your Park Kabu next turn as well. So, good stuff. Um, you're dead. Victories! These! We do be taking these, these, please. Let me take a Fire Energy. Cool. We got a lot of energy right now. Awesome. So, they got four cards. Um, uh, they can drop a Supporter. 
They can go for a big Lucario, but like, it's not even that like we do a lot versus Lucario. It's also just like they're worth 350 HP right now because we have two of the heat energies. I like that they brought Ultra Ball back. I do be liking that. So they're going to be able to go Lucario off, but I just don't think Lucario gets it, you know? Like, discard all energy attack. It, does, it can do like, I can, I can still one shot you, bro. Oh, it's a good resolve. Yo, anytime you ever see your opponent go for a seven card plus like that, you have to you have to give them a high five. Those are the rules. Those are the rules. Like, I don't play. Maybe maybe you don't high five them now that we're in like uh, like COVID times, but you know, it's, it's still a good idea to give them the plus, plus seven. So a lot of damage here. And we're gonna want to get a Victini kind of ready in the back while Kabuing. Uh, we can still Oko the guy, but that's fine. Yeah, it still was a hundred. Ooh, it only is a hundred. Well, he's only at a hundred. Oh, it is one thirty. Okay, cool. So we don't, we can't actually kill that thing. So I'd still like to get my Kabu off of Poke Gear here. That'd be the value draw is a Kabu, so we can just get that Lucario off the board. And, or why do I keep saying Kabu? It's obviously boss's orders. I'm such an idiot. Yeah, we do be taking these boss's orders up, right? And we don't really need the Kabu here, so we might as well just Ultra Ball away like one of these fire energies for a regular Victini. Let's get this Victini instead. And let's get our energies kind of set up on it. We're gonna save this last energy in case we need it. But we're gonna boss his orders up this guy. Remember, he took 20 damage. So we're just gonna KO it with a max victory since he's only at 100. Easy peasy, yo. Victini's still good. Trying to use your rogue decks? Not in my house. Boss's orders, best card in the game. Now, we can't Kabu anymore because we have um, two Pokemon here. But I think that's okay. I think that's totally fine. Um, Kabu is just a really, really cool card. And it makes the deck a little bit harder to play in some situations. But it makes it a little bit easier to play in some situations. You don't always have to have your bench like super loaded. You can kind of just throw out Amon when you need to. Kabu for eight the first couple turns of the game. Steamroll the game with Victini and then be fine. They already have a second Lucario up here, and I don't know how I'm necessarily going to deal with it, but even if they KO the Victini, we just bring out a second Victini that's already ready to go. We're already going to have the VMAX loaded up onto it, so we should be in a good spot. We cannot KO this uh, Lax here, but we'll see what we want to do. 130 is just out of range for max victory, so we're going to have to use two attacks here. We almost could flare shot it for KO, that's funny. Awesome, so there's the Lax. We're gonna Marnie here unless we draw something good. Yeah, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to Marnie. We might as well just evolve our Victini first. There we go. So second Victini's up. We might as well put this last energy on this Victini and we'll Marnie away. We don't need to get a third Victini. I don't think that's gonna ever be needed in this situation. And we're looking for, awesome. Phantom Whips is a great card to do, or a great card to get here. I think Phantom Whips is so good in this deck. And we have two bosses orders. Yo, that's so big. All right, that's sick. I mean, we're going to be all right here. Um, for the next couple turns, we're going to go easy. Peasy. We need four prizes. We're going to get one next turn. And then we'll KO one of the Lucarios. And then when they start loading up a second one, we'll just pick off the Mons in their back. Cool. What is that item they put on this guy? Survey says Choice Belt. That's a good item. Yeah. Gives 30 extra damage to uh, Pokemon Bees. So, like, they're going to be able to, like, one-shot my VTs. 60, 60, 60, 240, 50, 60, 70, 80. We're at 280 right now, and they haven't attached yet. So they will be able to KO the Victini and then equal up the score. But, oh, they're just going to Gormandize. Okay, cool. We're just going to kill that thing then. <laughs> Yo, we do be taking these. Where are you looking, my guy? My guy, where you do be looking? No need to attach this energy. You can just save it. And the biggest victory of all time. Yeah, the big scoop up. Yo, Victini making plays for days out here. You know, we absolutely love to see that. 50 points. All right, we're on a five-game win streak right now. I've been recording a couple videos. Got a little bit of a Charizard coin here. And uh, I won the coin flip. You know, a little bit of lucky me. I will like to go first with this deck. I do like going first. Having that second energy by turn two is pretty important. And we don't even have to mull. Oh my gosh. We do be taking those. There's only four basics in the deck. So this is very lucky right now. This is actually a really good hand. We have an energy. We have a Kabu. Uh, we have a boss's orders if they do something weird. So we are in a really, really good spot right here. Let's see what they're running. Survey says, how many moles you got, Chief? Research... And Stone Jorner, huh? Okay, with Lucky Ice Pop. All right, are they playing like a Cheryl deck or something? No wonder they had to mole, right? 
Yeah, I'll take a okay, I'll take a card here. Another boss's orders, Pog Champ. Let's see. So Stone Joiner here. Um Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we take those. Uh let's just attach. Don't need to do anything spectacular and uh just end. So we wanna next turn go hammer into Kabu. And then we're just going to start hitting this guy in the face. Yeah, we don't need to drop any things with rule boxes. We're in a great spot. Ultra Ball, we might want to actually go for a Pokemon catcher here. Or even if we top deck our way into a way to uh, like evolve something, uh, like our Victini, like an Evolution Sensor and Ultra Ball, we'll go for that. We'll see. Yeah, there's the energy. Ooh, it's a special energy. So we can actually fan of waves this. Ooh, they're going to Marnie us. Not bad. Good Marnie. We had a great hand. So um, really, really good Marnie from our opponents here. Survey says, what you giving me, Chief? Ooh, look at that. We got our own Marnie. Oh, they got a hammer. Can you please not hammer me, bro? Are you freaking serious? We had such a good hand. All right, so then it's only... It's... it's The rules state that we should hammer them back, right? The rules state that we should be able to hammer them back. Hammer them back? That's right. Hammer them back. We do be taking those. Do we need to drop this yet? Not yet. Do we need to drop this yet? Not yet. Do we want to evolve? Yes. Because we can at least accelerate like one energy and we don't really care about damage. So we're just going to do this. We don't want to drop our, um, we don't want to discard that medallion. First of all, we're going to need that later in the game. And looks like we do have one energy so we can actually do something. Holy moly, sometimes lucky here. So we're going to be able to get our two energy. Very, very slow game. Imagine if they didn't get that. We would already hitting them for lethal damage. It would have KO'd them. It would have done 220 right off the bat. Schoolgirl. Wow. That's a greedy play. It's a cool card. I haven't really seen that one. Good card, though. Now, let's see. What are they going to do? Oh, my goodness. All right. So, all we need to do is, like, get our way into, like, a second energy. And this is where Kabu's great. It lets us um, get eight cards instead of the seven. Now, the thing that we need to take into account is, do we really even need to draw any of these again? Because what we need to draw is hammers or um even a fan of waves so it might actually be better to professor's research to discard these four so we don't have to draw them again but i think it's fine we're in a kabu here we could have evol evolution sense and wasted it but we wanted to get there's a hammer we can even also go for a catcher if the hammer fails i think it's better actually to go for the catcher first yep let me just read this again yeah let's go for the catcher first i think that's the right play Never lucky. Never lucky. Oh my goodness. You ever seen anyone as unlucky as me? I don't think I ever have in my life. Oh my gosh. I could have just won this game right there. It's okay. Marnie's gonna draw. Oh well. Oh well. Hey, that's that's the that's the risk that you play with these type of decks here. They can do one attack. They have another school girl. We have the big Marnie in the back. So they can go for a guard press. And makes it so they don't die. But, like, we're going to have to do something. We're going to have to Marnie them, I think. Obviously. I don't think there's a problem with putting this heat energy here just to make sure we get a little bit more HP. Just that it gives us 20 HP. And we're just going to Marnie. I don't think there's a supporter that I would want in this situation instead. The only other supporter I would really want is, like, Poke Tech for a discard all of these. And you know what? I think I might. Uh, Professor's Research. Yeah. Um, I don't want any of these cards in my hand. I don't want to muddle my hand with these cards because I don't really need them. I'm, look I'm literally looking for hammers, and being able to discard all of these cards helps us in that situation. It thins the deck for double hammer time. Yes! Let's freaking... We actually want to discard... <sighs> yeah, discard that one. Double hammer time! Oh, it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Do we attach this here? I don't think we have to. We don't even need to play this guy yet. Unless we could evolve it next turn. That's fine. We're fine with this. We need fire energy to discard. One? Only one? Because like I kind of want to load that guy up, but it's fine. Max victory is okay. It won't get the KO. They're at 20. They're at 20 HP. They have a big hand. So let's see. Oh my gosh, they're going to try and ice pop their way out of this one. Not in my house, they're not. Oh, we got the first 20. Oh my gosh, not like this. Not like this. Can you really not get like 10 of these in a row? I swear, every time I've ever used Lucky Eyes Pop, yeah, you get 20. <laughs> you get two of them. Okay. Hey, go. Hey, pop off, Chief. Pop off and then scoop the game after. The big tails. Okay. 
You're almost healing it, yo. You're almost getting the big heal. Yeah, I played, you know, so the cool thing about running all these cards is like you could just run Cheryl. You know what I mean? It's like, just run Cheryl, bro. So they're still within range to get KO'd. Crushing Hammer, we'll be able to research away for another energy. It's fine. Full face card. I love that card, by the way. All right, so we need to do 160. So we, we just, we, oh, well, that's just game right there. That's just the big red game right there. But you know what? We're going to rub it in their face, and we're going to drop one of these guys. We're going to drop one of these. We're going we're gonna to totally rub it in their face here. Easy peasy. Look at this. Just because I want to. Ugh. Yeet, delete, repeat. Big max victory. We take those all the way to the bank. Big teeny. Good stuff. Good stuff. Big teeny is still busted. I'm telling you guys, if your opponent is not playing like a tier one deck, Victini will come in hot and just sweep them out of the game. If you guys are a big Victini fan like myself, think about letting me know what your deck list is in the comments. And other than that, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys are excited for the upcoming uh, Utah Salt Lake City Regionals. I'm going to be there. So if you guys are going to be there, think about hitting me up. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. You have a great rest of your day. Peace out. And I'll see you guys next time.